Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and once again it is time to continue the How to Spot a Fake Natty series. And today we're going to cover none other than Joe Donnelly, a former NFL player who's become a fitness model and now sells carb cycling meal plans and teaches you guys how to do really stupid shit that will probably get you injured like this, stepping up on a box with uh, 400 pounds on your back. So until this morning, I had no idea who this guy was. So someone else asked me, could I cover him in the fake natty? And I started doing a little bit of research and digging around. And sure enough, I discovered him. Now, while the guy seems to have a pretty interesting sense of humor on his Instagram that I can actually appreciate and find amusing at times, I also found that this guy launched an ad hominem attack against me for calling out his butt buddy, none other than a proven fake natty, the evil Dr. Lame Nordstrom, who is my arch nemesis. Well, there's your first piece of evidence right there, attacking me in an ad hominem attack for calling out a fake natty while defending another fake natty. Already the first strike against you, Joe. Number two. Selling overpriced meal plans while claiming it's due to your natty status. Things like carb cycling, charging $170 for meal plans and customized meal plans, uh, monthly membership to your website, which could easily go over $100 per year. I don't know, $170 to teach people how to cycle carbs. When has carb cycling ever been found by anyone, including his good buddy, the evil Dr. Lame Nordstrom, to be effective at all for athletic performance or fat loss? I'm not aware of any data on that one, but I guess it's worth $170, right, Joe? And while all of that is interesting, let's take a closer look at the hard evidence. We already know that the guy is big and he is peeled and seems to be shredded year round with that dry, photoshopped look. Well, we don't know that that isn't Photoshop, which, you know, is again a whole nother type of next level fake natty. But let's look at his basic stats. And I'm going to be really nice here on the body fat and I'm going to give him some wiggle room. But I found his stats and he is supposedly six foot two at 235 pounds. Now, I'm going to be really nice and assume he's not lower than 9% body fat when we plug in this fat-free mass index and we get 27.1. Now, he looks closer to 7 to 8% body fat in some of those photos, but will account for possible Adobe use there making some uh, Photoshop gains and keep his fat-free mass index down here at 27. Well, as most of you guys know, most of the data out there and, and the, most of the real experts out there will agree that being under 10% body fat while having a fat-free mass index of higher than 25 is usually indicative of some creatine and whey protein use. Now, I also find it interesting that uh, I have never heard of this guy, yet clearly he heard of me enough to type a three-page long rant about me in all caps while making personal ad hominem attacks about me, uh, my athletic performance as a middle-aged man who had spent a year in bed and had only started walking again just over a year before he made that rant about me. I was an invalid and I was learning to walk again and was going back to compete in my late 30s after being completely bedridden and he's going to make personal attacks against my athletic performance. That's very classy of you, Joe. And uh, I guess my response to all of that, after this guy made all those personal attacks against me, completely unsubstantiated, purely for telling you guys the truth about some of the bullshit that goes on in this industry, I will return with the same level of E-class he gave me. So Joe, after reading your little rant, all I have to say to you is fuck you in your sorry fake natty ass with a big black 18 inch rubber dick. Break it off and beat you with what's left of it. Feel free to quote me on that one. All right, guys, now that we've looked at all the evidence here, I think it is fair to say that Joe Donnelly is most definitely a fake natty and he is on that there creatine and whey protons. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. If you guys enjoyed this video, you like my work in general, please remember to click like down below. Please subscribe if you haven't and share this video with others. Make sure that Mr. Joe Donnelly sees it. So I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.